Hello, this tutorial is going to be showing you how to use the provided VRM file to upload your WinterPod Mask Canine as either a VTuber avatar or for virtual face. The provided file comes with the canine avatar and the clothing pack, which you'll still need to purchase if you would like to use any of the texture variations. If you'd like to add anything else to the avatar, such as the piercings or any of the other assets on my Gumroad, please go ahead and watch the tutorial that I'll link above. Before we get started, we're going to need to download a few things. The first thing is the canine avatar, and that's the VTuber canine file located on your Gumroad library. Next up, if you purchase the clothing pack, you can go ahead and download the clothing pieces that you would like to add for your avatar. I'm just going to be showing the sweatshirt for this tutorial, but the process is still the same for all of the clothing pieces. And next is VC Face. I'll put the links for the rest of these in the description below. VC Face is what we're going to be using to use our VTuber avatar. There are a few different options for this, but I'm going to be showing VC Face for this tutorial. Next is Unity, and you can download that here on the Unity website. And lastly, Uni VRM. I was having some issues with the latest version of Uni VRM. Uh, but if you'd like to try that one, you can scroll down and download that right here. I'm going to be using a later release, so if you keep scrolling, you should be able to find that one right here on their website. Once everything is downloaded and you've installed Unity and the Unity Hub, you can go ahead and open up the Unity Hub, click on New Project, give your project a name, and then hit create project. Some of the loading times in this might take a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and speed through these parts of the video. Once Uni opens up, you can now import Uni VRM. If you purchase any of the clothing pieces, you can now import those as well. Now we're going to go ahead and make a new folder. To do that, right click and then create a folder. Then go up to the top to this new VRM tab that should be there and hit import. Now you're going to find where you saved that VRM file that you downloaded from Gumroad and open it. Then I like to import this into that new file that we just made just to keep things a little bit cleaner. And then hit save. When it's done importing, open up the folder and you should see this prefab right here. Take that prefab and drag it into the hierarchy. Now, as you can see, the canine avatar comes with everything on it. And now we're going to go ahead and delete all of the things that we don't want. So to do that, right click on the avatar in the hierarchy and select unpack prefab. Now we can click this drop down arrow and you'll see all of the different clothing pieces. I'm just going to keep the sweatshirt. So I'm going to delete all of the other clothing pieces just by selecting them and then hitting delete. There are also two different tail options. You have this big fluffy tail, which is tail two, and this tail here, which is tail one. I'm going to keep tail two and remove tail one. And then there are two different hairstyles. There is the mohawk and the mane. You can have both on if you'd like, but I'm gonna remove the mane hairstyle. If you'd like to use your own custom textures, you can follow along now. So we're going to go into the textures folder, which is the last folder right here. Find your custom textures and drag them in. If you have any custom clothing textures, you can also import those as well. Now we're going to adjust the size of the textures because all textures in Unity import at 2K. So I'm going to swap my body to 4K and switch this compression to none. This is personal preference, so you can choose the settings that you would like. 
Guys, I'm going to swap to 1k. The hair I'll leave at 2k. I'm going to put the props to 4k. And lastly, the tail I'm going to switch to 4k. To apply these textures, we're going to head back to the VRM folder and then find the materials folder, which is this one right here. Let's start off with the body. So select the body. And then we're going to select this little circle right here and find your body texture. Do the same thing for the shade color. And the process is the same for all of these. So I'm just going to speed this section up. If you have your own custom clothing textures, you can do the same thing that I was doing for the body pieces. But if you want to use any of the pre-made ones, you can select this and type in T underscore, and you should see a bunch of the sweatshirt textures pop up, which are these ones right here. Select the one you would like. So I'm going to select this one with the zipper right here, and then do the same thing for the shade. If you'd like to change how your avatar looks outside of the textures, you can do so with blend shapes. To find the blend shapes, head back to your VRM folder and then find the blend shapes folder, which is probably going to be the third one over. Open that up and then you should see just blend shapes here. A lot of these say blend shapes, dot, dot, dot. Find the one that says blend shapes, select it, and then make sure your neutral expression is selected. This won't work unless you have the neutral, select, neutral blend shape on. This image here is probably going to load in pretty small, so you can drag that up to make it bigger. All of the changes we're going to be making will only be visible here and not on your avatar in your scene. So you'll also probably notice that some of the things that we deleted originally are still on the avatar. You can go ahead and ignore that because they're not going to be on your avatar once we upload it. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on the blend shapes that we have to turn on. And those are going to be the clothing blend shapes if you added any. So because I have the sweatshirt on, we're going to open up the body and scroll down until you see a section called clothing. And that's going to be right here and look like this. So because I have the sweatshirt on, we're going to turn the sweatshirt blend shape on. What this is going to do is prevent clipping with the body when you have the sweatshirt on. If you have any of the other clothing on, make sure you turn on those blend shapes. So if you have multiple pieces of clothing on, you're going to need to go into those two clothing pieces and turn on the respective blend shapes. So for example, if you have the sweatshirt and sweatpants on, you're going to need to go into the sweatshirt folder, find the sweatpants blend shape and turn it on. Then go into the sweatpants folder. and. If there is a sweatshirt blend shape, make sure you turn that on. There isn't in this case, but just make sure you double check. So now we can go and start editing the fun parts of this. You'll see a couple different sections, and once you scroll down, you'll get to a section called Browse. From this section all the way down until this clothing section, you can edit anything in between to change the body. There is this section here called Do Not Edit, you can just ignore that because that's for the VRChat file. So feel free to edit anything in here. Everything's divided up by body part, so it should be pretty organized and easy to find. I'm going to go ahead and change how my avatar looks. And so I'm going to speed this section up and I'll see you when I'm done. If you turned on any body blend shapes, then make sure you go into the respective clothing piece and turn those blend shapes on. So because I turned on feminine, turn on that blend shape for your clothing piece and try to make sure they're at the same percentage.
This next step is not necessary for VC face, but it is necessary for some other BRM applications, such as virtual face. What this step is going to do is make sure that the blend shapes that you applied here uh, transfer over to your VRM avatar. So to do this, go up to the VRM tab, select export to VRM, drag in the avatar from the hierarchy into this box here, and then we're gonna hit reset. Then go over to your blend shapes tab and select apply selected blend shaped clip. Now this next step is very important. Make sure you go over to your avatar in the hierarchy and we're going to reset all of these blend shapes because they've now applied here. So we need to select the body, find the blend shapes drop down, and turn off all of these blend shapes. If you added blend shapes to any other parts of the body, make sure you turn those off as well, including the clothing pieces. Once you're happy with how everything looks, you can add a thumbnail if you'd like for when you import your VRM avatar. You can either use this default one here or you can import your own, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same thing that we were doing before for the textures. Then head up to your VRM tab, hit export, drag your avatar in from the hierarchy. And then if this comes in in Japanese and you can only speak English, uh, make sure you switch it over to English. You can give your avatar a name right here. And if there are any errors up here, hit reset. And once that's all done, you can hit export. Make sure you save this in a place that makes sense to you. Now that you've exported your VRM avatar, you're ready to start using it. If you want to use it for VC face, go ahead and install that now, open it up. And I'm going to turn this off so there aren't two of me. Okay, head up to your avatar selection and you can add that avatar here that you just exported. I already have mine, so I'm just gonna hit cancel. If you'd like to use full face tracking where it tracks your full face like this, you can install iFacial mocap on your iPhone and then go up to your settings, go to general settings, and scroll down until you see this section here. Check this checkbox and add in the IP from your iPhone. I also like to use hybrid audio lip, lip sync because I think it makes the mouth look a little bit better, but all of these settings are up to you and you can choose what looks best. If you're having any issues when you do expressions where your blend shapes are turning off, go into your settings, go to expression settings, and make sure all of the um, expressions are set to additive. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like the avatar, feel free to leave it a rating. All of the ratings really help me out a lot. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me on Discord, through email, or on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching.